Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Why am I wearing a Hawaiian shirt? Because it's fashion. Look it up. But really, it's because I built a gun from a movie. Well, I built a gun inspired by a gun from a movie. A movie that some of you may or may not remember. Baz Luhrmann's 1990-ish something version of Romeo and Juliet, starring poor, poor Oscar-less Leonardo DiCaprio. One day. One day. But that day is not today, unfortunately. But today what we are looking at is we are looking at my version of the Dagger 9mm. Now, if you watched the movie, they all ran modern guns, but with fancy names, sword, dagger, rapier, cutlass, long sword, so on and so forth. And most of the guns were really, really stupid. And the Dagger 9mm was no exception to this rule. Wielded by Mercutio, who is played by, strangely enough, the same actor who plays Damon Pope in the last season of Sons of Anarchy. If you ever want to see Damon Pope in drag, you should watch Romeo and Juliet. But his gun had all sorts of cutaways and stupid little things on it. And I really, really liked it. So... I took my old WE, which was imported from TSD M92 Long Slide, which previously I had stripped down. This originally was black. Sandblasted it and hand polished it. I went ahead and I cut some holes into the grips and I took a picture of some bullets from my real carry piece and I put it in there, sunk in a few millimeters and put some Lexan on top. You can see there is a little bit of depth to it. it is probably best viewed from a few feet away. If you get up close, you're going to realize, hey, these are two-dimensional bullets that are printed on a piece of paper. Um, and hey, it's even matched on the other side. Why did I build this? Why not? I've got a lot of guns. I could do a lot of cool shit with them. So I decided, let's do some cool shit with this one. Does the gun still work? Absolutely, it still works. The bullets don't do anything, obviously, and if you drop the magazine, well, the bullets are still there. So, yeah, that might cause some slight continuity issues if you're reloading. But, this is something dumb and something cool that you can do with your own gun if you feel particularly motivated to do so. Just, seriously, quick picture, print it out, a little bit of Lexan, some epoxy to hold the Lexan in place, and uh, we were good to go. This is the first gun in this custom pistol series, sort of inspired by this movie that I'm doing. The next gun is going to be worse. So, so, so much worse. So, stay tuned. Hopefully our sponsors will come through and send us a base gun and we can get to building something really stupid. Be sure to check out the review of this gun, which originally published years ago on, uh, Bo it's now on Bulligan Airsoft and Airsoft Retreat. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.